Thomas, 1045. I got PTs at one. And I've been here sometimes. I was in the a little bit right now. These are my beautiful legs. <laughs> see. see those shakes that I got? Yeah, these are my legs from all the burns. And slowly but surely, they're healing. Well, they healed already, but they're clearing out little by little, but I ain't worried about it. But yeah, this is a little spasms that I get. And this is our, our specialty, the way that it is today, I don't know. But for some reason, I'm getting them a lot. I'll jump again a little bit. This is watching my ESPN. See? Yeah, what I do. At times, I stretch it out. Let's see what I do there. They stiffen out a little bit. This is the PT I do at home. Try to bring it up and then by myself. I try to pick my leg up and put it on the scooters. See, that's hard. That's what I'll be doing with both my legs behind the bullets. Like I say, everyday struggle. And I push it down. This is what I'm holding my phone. So without without no hands, I'm doing the pushing up. You know, so I showed you earlier, but this is with no hands. And I slowly push it up and boom, I'm back on there. So I just wanted to clear that out. That's with no hands. So move, moving the legs. Yo, Miente, what it do, man? It's your boy into the tea back at it again. Today, Tuesday, September 29th. Um, those clips right there, that's earlier today. Um, in the morning obviously and that's what i was doing i was saying that i pushed my leg up i pulled my legs up like that matching me without using my hands as in using my thighs the muscle in my thighs and my hamstrings to pull them up and place them on my school and just those little movements like that it gives me muscle and give me stability more on my on my on my legs and since that you know when i get my cloneness does it start shaking or spasticity or whatnot so that's stuff that i be doing at home but um, but today at my third, I had my my PT today from one to two at the NBC, and I was telling man, I weighted myself, me and for some reason I weighed eight pounds more than I did last Tuesday or last Thursday when I weighted myself. Like what? But it must have been close. so the material's a little thicker, and, and my and my um, jogger's a little bit thicker because it's cold today out here in Chicago or off in the states. And um, but I was explaining to him that. For some reason, um, besides me waiting like that, that's why that's why I mentioned this is that I eat healthy. I eat really healthy and I try to try to eat the healthy as I can. Like I said, don't get me wrong, I still have my coffee and my chocolate chip cookies every morning. But um but I, I eat eating healthy, eating the right portions, um, a lot of codfish, a lot of a lot of fish, a lot of tuna. And the tuna in the cans is a, is a wild caught tuna. It has no um, no oil or no nothing. My little thing where with a lot of kale, always when I make my tuna, I always put down a skillet, do we'll put kale, like I always do. Yeah, y'all seen the way I do it. And uh, But I always try to maintain myself eating, you know, good like that when it's fruits, eating small portions of fruits. Don't stuff your face up with fruits. And and it, you live a lot better. And he was telling me that because of that, that's the reason why I was, I told him because there's times that every day I wake up at 5.30 in the morning, like 5, 5.30 in the morning and me and this is the moment I'm up, I'm gone. I go, I get up in the morning, brush my teeth, wash my face, do all my regular morning routines, serve my coffee, do all this, pick up around, you know, clean the table, whatnot, do what I gotta do, and then get dressed. And remember, getting dressed for, for us is time time consuming because you know we're getting we're getting off of, for me should i say i'm getting off the scooter transferring to the bed putting on my pants transferring back onto the scooter when i gotta use the commode transfer to the commode and back when i'm using the bath uh, the, the, when i gotta urinate using the, the urinal and then taking it out dumping it out cleaning it out always maintain it clean <clears throat> so it's a lot of movements i'm doing it in day in and day out you know me and but anyway, so like I was saying, I was like, so why is it that I do all that during the whole day and I don't get tired? Literally, mi gente, I'm not lying. I don't, I don't get tired like that. And only, yeah, towards the nighttime, obviously, but that's what I do. I waste my body out the most I can. 
I, I drain the battery out the most I can because I know like around 10, 10.30 at night, whatever time it is, and I start feeling drowsy and down. And that's why I know that's the perfect time to go to sleep. And me and the, since sometimes you know how we do that we struggle with going to sleep and we toss and turn and we, you know, we get one position and we get into other position is a whole completely uh, relaxation move, should I, feel, should I say, is uncomfortable. And so that's why I try to waste the most I can because when I knock out, I knock out. And literally I only get like about four and a half hours, of, for four to five hours of sleep. I'd be lucky if I give, uh, I'd be lucky if I get six hours. But me enter whatever hours I get, I make sure I get my full nap. And when I'm up, I don't take it. But that's what I'm saying. I don't waste the time. I get up and let's go. As early as I can, I try to drag it out the most I can. But uh, no. Whenever it's up, I get up and let's go to start the day. The Lord gave me, bless me with another 24 hours to go. So let's go. Me enter to do what we got to do. Today, uh, it's going to be a little, you know, I want to post this up really fast. And when my wife is not home yet. And the reason why I guess today is my father-in-law's birthday. He would have been, uh, he would have turned 61 years young. And like I told him, man, I know that, you know, losing a, lo a loved one is hard since we all know as well. And, but it's even harder on these special dates, you know, his birthday, holidays and whatnot. So I'm just trying to be here to comfort my wife and show her the, you know, the love and, and tell her to make sure, you know, to be strong and know that he's in a better place right now, even though, you know, we can't be selfish and having a person next to us when, they, when they're when they suffering and they're not feeling good, but they just don't let us know. So just look at it like that, you know? That's why I tell a wife, you don't, don't worry about it. I mean, we're going to have you, you're going to cry, you're going to scream, you're going to yell. Do it. Let all that out. Let all that out because that stays in here. And when it stays in here, it transfers up here. And then that's when you start doing crazy stuff. That's when you start losing your marbles. Start doing all stuff. So whenever you feel emotional like that, and especially things, things like that, let it out. Let God know, God knows what you're doing. So, be in control. So, but besides that, I did my regular uh, on PTs on today, Tuesday. I did my regular upper body strengthening on the transit, um, the transit uh, new step, where the, I did a lot of the pushing, the pooling, and, you know, working the upper body, trying to get strong. Your boy trying to get big. And, uh, but, I love you guys. I love you guys. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Keep working out. Everybody keep doing what you do. Move your pinkies if you have to. Like whatever muscle you got, move. Move them because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be that. I'm trying to be that guy. That certain individual that beat, that, that beat all the odds against him. And guess what? I can't because I'm an MS warrior. You know what I mean? This is MS. This is my story. This is Mondo's situation. Mondo's story. So let's go. Let's do what we gotta do, mi gente. So love you guys, miss you guys, and be all oh, for all my new subscribers. Thank you once again, everybody that's commenting on the on the theme. Make sure you hit the bell for the notification button every time y'all uh, come up. Y'all know, and keep chatting, man. Keep telling me stuff. Keep letting me know about y'all so I can put it out. Whatever y'all say, new information, y'all bring it up to me. I put, I show it up there. Oh, and like I was telling one of the uh, one of my subscribers, you mentioned about the Imperial pills of me walking, and unfortunately those pills, well, y'all know they they caused me the grand mal seizure, and I got videos about that. But because of that, I'm thinking about maybe recapping a couple videos and throwing back up there, so I can just refresh our memory. Cause I, I ain't got a problem talking about it. I'm living. I'm strong. I'm look at me. I'm going. So you know, no problem with me. I take that as a victory on my side. But um. So yeah, me and that was just a little thing. So love you guys, and then we'll be back at it tomorrow and see what's good.